Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, we are going to show you how you can hook our 4 watt GPSS laser module to your 3D printer. Um, on our example, we use an at A8 3D printer and we use advanced uh, 3D printed uh, mount that you can use to hook your DPSS laser to 3D printer. So we remove just these uh, two parts and um, as you can see it can be screwed directly to, to your extruder. We use our dynamic uh, PWM box so that you can change adjust uh, laser power so without changing g-code so you can uh, change it while the laser is working and you see the power real laser power in percent so it's like 83 percent here it's like 58 percent and you set up on the second second position here we use fan one uh, pin and you can see it over here so please do not miss polarity so it's very important oh, so, sorry it's over here so we are going to engrave uh, endurance uh, uh, endurance on aluminum plate. The speed is 200, so it's pretty much a limitation of this 3D printer. So sometimes uh, there is a problem that uh, printers are blinking, so the laser is blinking. So we just suggest you to add capacitor. Uh, well, this one is uh, 470 uh, micro rates. So you just add it in parallel, yeah, 470. So you add it in parallel to your PWM uh, wire. So in our, in our uh, situation, it is, we're using fan one pin. So in on that 3D printer, you don't need it. So some printers, they, they require that. So you just can try different capacitors with different volume. Um, so you, you never know which one is better. So you can start with, let's say 200, uh, micro rods and then try 400, 500, etc. So uh, it shouldn't take long. And here we're using uh, G code uh, that we generated using Lightburn software. Uh, this particular board uses Marlin uh, firmware version uh, 20X, so it's quite common. So, yeah, and the good thing about uh, using our custom um, focusing system that you can add different spaces, so you can have one space, you can have two, you can have three, and change your focal depth, uh, focal range, and laser beam spot. I have a video on Endurance Lasers channel where I show and explain in details uh, how uh, adding spacers will affect your laser beam spot, uh, laser uh, focal range and focal depth. So these are three parameters that you can regulate by adding different uh, spacers. Yeah, and I must say that another reprint is pretty good. And let's see what we got here. Okay. So it's quite quite accurate quite clean I do not see any waves here so some machines some frames they have problems because you see small waves where they, they appear from vibrations so here on Annette you don't see anything like that it look, looks pretty good and uh, yeah with DPSS laser you can engrave on polished aluminum so hope that you like this video please share it with your friends subscribe on our channel Visit our website endurancelasers.com and if you have any questions let me know gf at endurancerobots.com. My email and my phone is plus seven nine one six two two five four three oh two and have a wonderful experience with endurance lasers. Bye bye.